Good morning, everyone. This is Tim, and I hope you're doing well. I am in Madrid, and I'm pretty excited today because I heard there is a fantastic brunch buffet here in Madrid, Spain, and I heard it was probably the best uh, buffet brunch in Spain as well. So lots of lobsters, lots of decadent treats, and I'm pretty excited for that and really grateful to get to spend some time in Spain because I'm here with the Putt family, uh, who they are very proud because their daughter, Carissa, was here for uh, the triathlon out in Pontre Vedra, uh, representing Team USA. And I'm happy to say that she finished strong, a little bit tired, but very strong, and she did really well. So really grateful to be able to spend time with them and also to meet all the wonderful people in Pontre Vedra. Really gracious, really generous, maybe a little too much so uh, with Michael from uh, Bar Estrella out in Pontre Vedra with the wonderful drinks and the tapas, and also a fantastic family with Marie and Ishmael uh, from the hotel who uh, were just as generous and uh, really proud of their city, taking me to their many beaches and wonderful sites. So really grateful for that. And I must say the food in Spain and especially in Pontre Vedra was superb. We got a chance to enjoy some tapas with Carissa, Takara and Tom over at Misto Cafe. And there is Seoul serving us some wonderful tapas and the best tuna belly that I've had that came in a can as well. So while they were eating outside, I was exploring inside the bar. Este es buenísimo. Quiero más. And what I said there was that it was delicious and can I have more? And it's such a great experience getting to meet all the hosts and servers and get to converse in Spanish nonetheless. So really grateful for that and really grateful to get to partner up with Rosetta Stone to support this channel. For me, whether it's work or for these YouTube travel adventures, I get to encounter so many cultures and so many languages and being able to converse with someone in their own language makes the connection much more deeper, more colorful. You really get to connect in a deeper way. And no matter what language or situation, Situation, Rosetta Stone's extensive library of languages and their innovative and immersive teaching methods makes learning a new language fun, engaging, and easy. I have been using Rosetta Stone a lot and I am really impressed with the way it introduces you to a new language by sparking your curiosity with fun and inquisitive sessions. This is not memorization, this is not recital, this is an innovative and immersive way of learning a new language that's really different, really fun, really cool, and amazingly effective. I am really impressed. It's focused on your specific needs and your situation. Before you start learning a new language, you set the context in which you'll be using that language, whether it's for a professional capacity, for travel or leisure, or to gain proficiency in a more advanced dialogue, and Rosetta Stone takes it over from there. You'll be in an immersive experience where you'll be working through scenarios by saying and reading the new language, learning the new language the same way you've learned your first language. And while the sessions are as short as 10 minutes, there is so much going on, like matching mm -hmm. audio from native speakers to visuals and participating in dialogue, especially using the voice recognition tool that provides feedback to hone your pronunciation like the way I'm doing when you're getting it right. Ninja. Or when some correction is needed. Come. Come. It's not only a comprehensive learning experience, but it is fun and focused on getting you ready for real life conversations in real life scenarios. It's convenient, accessible, and 100% available on the go with their mobile app. So really convenient to take some time to learn a new language in your spare time, no matter where you are. I'm really grateful for the partnership with Rosetta Stone because this deal on the lifetime subscription where you can access all of Rosetta Stone's languages for life is only available through the partner creators. Imagine that, getting access to all of Rosetta Stone's languages for life, whether it's for your immediate or future vacations or for your professional career, working with global teams, partners and customers, or for that very special reason of connecting closer with family and friends, this is all available at your fingertips whenever you need. And it gets better because Rosetta Stone is offering a 50% off the lifetime access from $299 to $150 
dollars. So give it a try. Visit Rosetta Stone by using the link in the video description below to get this exclusive offer of 50% off the lifetime membership to access all of Rosetta Stone's languages. That again is Rosetta Stone by using the link in the video description below to get this exclusive offer of 50% off the lifetime membership. So whether it is French, Spanish, Japanese, Tagalog, or any other language, start your language learning journey today and start connecting and exploring with everyone else. And uh, speaking of exploring and connecting and maybe a little bit of eating, I think it is time for the brunch. And uh, we still have some time left because it is still quite early and things tend to start a little, li a little bit later in Spain. Uh, but I think we'll make our way there and we'll do it by subway. I hope you're hungry. Come on, let's go. A quick ride on the subway and we have arrived and it's uh, almost two o'clock and uh, I think it's definitely time for brunch. Things start a little later here in Spain and that is uh, just part of it and uh, really enjoying it. So I hope you're hungry. Uh, let's go for a fantastic brunch together. It's right up ahead, right over there. Always a little bit cautious of the revolving doors. And uh, right in front of our eyes, we see the hardworking folk getting the brunch already. And of course, I do like to come early and coming early uh, in Spain is not, uh, is not a problem at all since things start so late. But let's see if we can peek behind the curtains. So a little bit of waiting and the buffet is in full running order. Looking pretty spectacular. Rodrigo, Cardinal, this looks absolutely amazing. Uh, so many foods here. I think this is like the best buffet in Spain. By can, far. <laughs> can I get a table, please? Yes, this oh, way. Okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. Oh, thank you, Cardinal. Thank you. So this is certainly impressive and uh, certainly worthy of Spain's best brunch buffet. And I'm situated here with a beautiful view with the many stations over there. And this is only available on Sundays and normally it's a lobby here, but uh, Rodrigo was kind enough to walk me around the buffet and it certainly looks amazing with the lobsters and the wonderful dishes. Our little piglet friend there that's soon to be devoured. Beautiful performers as we speak. And I think I just need to get started with a drink of some sort. And let's see. Gracias. Oh, thank you. This is uh, cava. cava. Oh, <laughs> gracias. So a beautiful glass of cava and one just kept filling up and up and up. And that is a wonderful start to the buffet. All right, cheers. Mm. That is so good. And uh, I think we're ready to start. Come on, let's go. And it is interesting on a round buffet, it's kind of hard to know where to start, but I think I'm just going to reach over there and grab a plate. Okay, people are certainly friendly and happy here. And why wouldn't they be? With this rotundra of food to the right and also to the left, an array of plushes. But I think we need to start off with the appetizers. So many things to choose from. Let's see. So wonderful dishes here. And I think to start off with, a little bit of caviar. Wonderfully plated items here. And maybe just right in the center, a spoon of something. One here. Oh my goodness. And I can see the lobster right at the back there. So I'm going to finish up with the appetizers. Little boats of goodness. I think this is a Spanish tortilla and meant to be small so that you can have a lot. Little bit of seafood, avocado, and I believe that is a gazpacho. I can't believe that was just the first station. And let's see what else we have. Okay, I think there is a lineup for the lobster and uh, definitely uh, come back for that when it dies down and let's see. And uh, I believe Rodrigo mentioned that this is the one and only healthy station, which we will skip. And I'm so glad they don't devote a lot of real estate. Uh, to the salads and look at this we have a magnificent hind leg of ham there and uh, all sliced up so maybe just a little bit oh, beautifully sliced or a lot they're all clumped together and that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it a little bit of salami these are really big 
little bit of olive oil. All right, so a little bit of bread and let's see. Oh, some salads. Magnifico, eh? So I think this is a Russian salad. But here. So really nice here as you're piling up your plate, you get to enjoy the wonderful music of the performers here. A little bit of salmon because it is breakfast right on the Russian salad. A beautiful caprese salad, probably the best I've ever seen. And this is something I've never had, some white asparagus. And I think that is good for the first round. <laughs> so pretty impressive here, and I barely made it through the appetizer round, but so much food here and a little bit of bread. That's a surprise on the table. And I think we're gonna try the avocado salad first, but there's so much cutlery on the table. And I think I'm gonna use this. Octopus, wonderful items here. Nice and refreshing. Chunks of soft, tender octopus, little bit of seaweed, little bit of avocado, a nice tang to open up the appetite. Mm. That is so good. And I'm really curious about these round little domes. Give this a try with our hands. Oh, cheers. Oh, I'm not sure what that is, but that is the smoothest, silkiest, richest pate I've ever had. Almost like duck liver. So easy to finish and I'm glad there's two. And next to it, is this wonderful spoon of something which I'm not sure what it is and there's only one way to find out. Oh, This is the same thing but only in pointier square form. Very nice. And I think because this is Spain I think we need to start off with the traditional. A little bit of bread, a little bit of Iberico ham and maybe the ham on its own. No cutlery needed. If you won't tell, I won't tell. Cheers. Oh. That is so tender and I think we need to do a little bit of combination because we have a little bit of Russian salad. So we can put that on the bread. I think this is cod with a bit of potato. And since we have the salmon, mine as well, we're a little bit of surf and turf, a little bit of ham. That is a big bite. Oh. Absolutely delicious. I don't know which is better, the ham, the salmon, or that wonderful Russian potato salad. I know I shouldn't be mixing flavors, but it just gets all that better. Cheers. It is messy, but I'm kind of curious as to what's in this bowl. And let's scoop it out. I think this is caviar. Mix it up. And eventually they'll come out. Absolutely amazing. Rich, creamy mousse, a little bit of caviar for pop, and a smoky, I think that is a salmon type of mousse. Oh, very nice. So, this is just the first round, and I can see it's quite busy. So, I'm going to finish this up uh, post haste, and we'll take it back for the uh, lechon, the ribs, or the prime rib, and the lobster as well. Ah, salute to you. So that was absolutely impressive, and I found out what that pyramid-shaped item was. That was more of the same, the duck liver mousse, and the asparagus was definitely one of the best I've ever had. Even better, and a little bit of the seafood mousse, very scrumptious and of course a little bit of gazpacho really fresh and aromatic 
and I think the initial rush has died down. Let's go for some more. All right, and I see our porky friend is almost gone, but that's okay, they should have more. It's still very hard to decide, but I think let's go for some seafood in the form of lobster. But the lobsters are looking scarce, but oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, so really nice, the hardworking folks here keeping everything replenished. Hi there, can I, uh, can I get some lobster? Yes. Oh. Gracias. Ah, gracias. Folks are extremely kind here and I think uh, I'm gonna stay away from the shrimp because the lobster is uh, less work to uh, the shell. So since we are on the seafood theme, let's go for the sushi. Beautiful ceviche, and uh, you actually have to watch where you're going. A little bit here on the lobster, and I think I was mistaken. The ceviche needs to be made by the chef. Oh, ah, gracias. Beautiful tuna tataki. Not too much. And then we have a seafood salad here. So maybe a little bit of sushi. Beautiful rolls here. And I think maybe we'll go for the salmon. With an avocado next to it. And finally, something kind of interesting. Not sure what that is, but it'll be fun to find out. And let's see. All right, and as much as I would love to go for the lechon and the meat, I think I'm gonna save that for the next round because they need to be eaten fresh. And let's see what they have here. An array of cloches, with the first cloche being, I believe this is a lobster bisque. Oh, and I can smell the aromas. All right, cloche number two, made of bamboo. Oh my goodness. So usually I don't go for any dumplings or any Asian uh, food at a buffet, but these look absolutely amazing because they are fried to perfection. Number one and number two. All right, and let's see what's under here. Some penne. Sorry, didn't mean to steam you up over there. And the next one. Okay, some wonderful deep fried goodness. Some chicken fingers for the kitties and the potato hash browns for me. All right, and moving on, let's see. Oh my goodness. This is not just Eggs Benedict. This is Eggs Benedict in uh, truffles and a white bechamel sauce. And actually, I don't think there's any bread underneath. Oh, maybe I'm wrong but that looks absolutely amazing. Let's see. I can't wait to see what's under here. Oh, all right. Well, vegetables, so you can't win them all, but uh, maybe the next section and things are looking up. This is a seafood stew. Definitely go for some of this. A little bit of fish and a little bit of lobster, more lobster. Top with the wonderful shrimp seafood sauce. Oh, all right, a beautiful beef stew. Got to give that a try. So potatoes on one side, beef on the other, and together they shall meet. And not too much room on the plate. A little bit more. And so far, so good. All right, talk about overdoing it. Uh, I, I actually filled up the lobster plate with a little bit more. With more lobster, some shrimp, and the claws, because they had the whole display case out. Can't wait to dig into that, but that is cold. And let's try the hot food first, starting with the pot stickers. Very well done. Crisp wrapper and thin and lots of filling. A little bit of that beef stew. Oh, 
and that is just falling apart. Oh. I know there are a lot of high quality items here, but when you're here, go for the beef stew because this just absolutely melts in the mouth. Oh, absolutely delicious. I gotta cut in to the eggs benedict. Oh, egg yolk just oozes out. And there is a little bit of bread in here, but not too much. Give this a try. It's a little bit messy, but very good. A little bit of ham, a little bit of eggs, and a wonderful bechamel with the truffles. This is an awkward position, just balancing it. Oh. Balance successful. Gotta go for the seafood stew. Wonderful fish. A little bit of shrimp. Little bit of mishap there. Cheers. I think we need to remedy the mishap. Oh. And as much as I would love to have this lobster here, I'm gonna go for the lobster over there. I've been dying to try that for so long. Cut into it, little bit of a reach. Okay, that is cooked wonderfully. And unfortunately, I think there is too many things on the plate, which is not a bad thing to have. Lobster tail number one, little bit of butter. Really long reach, quite a stretch like one piece. Cheers. Cooked perfectly, nice and tender and succulent, but I realized that was not butter, that was uh, olive oil. But let's try, you've got to try the lobster bisque with the lobster together. Perfect. Really enjoyable here. Such rich lobster flavor, and that bisque is superb. I gotta try more. Mm. All right. If you come here, go for the lobster, definitely go for the bisque. The hut beef stew is something else, I must say. So I think. Um, We've been here for quite a while here and when filming it actually takes a lot longer. So I'm going to hurry up and finish this off and go for the Carvery station and I'll see you back. Guess I'm getting tired. This is a gazpacho. Cheers. Seafood round is certainly amazing. The sushi, while it didn't look very impressive, it was incredibly tasty and all the seafood is absolutely delicious, especially the ceviche and also the seared tuna. And of course, with all the lobster claws, we made that lobster bisque extra special. And with that, I think we need to go for the meats. Uh, come on, let's go. It's getting late. And it is certainly dying down. Hola, this looks wonderful. Oh, yes, please. Oh, este bueno. Gracias. Oh. Mi amigo. Oh my goodness. Gracias, chef. Muy grande. Gracias. That is the biggest lechon I've seen and uh, a lot coming from a little pig and uh, maybe a little bit of potatoes. Oh, thank you, chef. Oh, chef, a um, little bit of paella. Oh, gracias. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, chef. This is huge and I need to go back to the table before it gets cold. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Chef's portions are certainly substantial and I am a little bit worried about this lechon but the beef looks fantastic and I see a little bit of red wine coming. Juan, thank you so much. Oh, oh, gracias. All right, wish me luck. 
Very nice. And I think we're going to dig into the beef first. Okay. And actually, that is looking so scrumptious. Oh, perfectly cooked. Nice and red. A little bit of sauce. Oh. Remember how tender the beef stew was? This is just as tender with so much beefy flavor. Oh. But I gotta go try the lechon. That skin is crisply and that skin is crispy and crackly good. Just gonna use my hands to try the skin. Oh. Just go for the skin. That is light and crispy and crackly and a little bit of fat to give it that unctuousness. Really good. Oh. I could just have the skin, but let's try the meat. Okay, that just pulls apart. A little bit of sauce. Oh. Even more tender. So I'm gonna finish this off because it's really running late. And if you hear a lot of uh, noise and celebratory cheers, because back there at the bar, they're having this masterclass mixology session. So I don't want to miss that. So I'm going to finish this up, maybe a little bit of desserts, and uh, we'll take it back. It's a long but wonderful buffet. Cheers. Mm. I mean, salute. So the generosity of Spain has certainly gotten to me again. Chef was certainly generous for that wonderful pork. And this is a remnant of the lechon. Y menifico? This is violeta, violeta. Ah, gracias. <laughs> Must try. <laughs> oh, gracias. Thank you. So people are quite kind here. Uh, I think that's time. That's a sign for dessert. Uh, come on, let's go. All right, now it's finally time for dessert. And the dessert station is looking just as wonderful as before. And that lovely lady was suggesting to try some of this. This is a violet parfait. But starting from the end, we have a spoonful of brownies, some rice pudding, and a wonderful custard. I think I'm gonna skip the chocolate because that's a little rich, but go for the panna cotta. And of course, this comes highly recommended. So a little bit of problem. The plate is filling up and I am filling up, but ooh, pistachio. How can we say no to this? All right, I don't think I can have any more, but ooh, look at this. We have some more mousses, some custards, some fruits with the chocolate. And I think the chocolate fountain is just as tired as I am because it has retired. And I think we need to finish this off with a little bit of cake, but cakes in the form of tarts from chocolate to, uh, I think that is a lemon custard or a meringue. And I think, not sure what this is, but looks really appetizing. Okay, right next to the spoon, that is it. Oh, look at this. I'm definitely gonna skip the banana, but this is final one for sure. Right over here, that is pistachio. There is room for another cone, maybe here. And I think we better enjoy the dessert before the buffet ends. This has certainly been a wonderful buffet and it's always nice to come to the table and find something new, this warm cup of coffee. It's a long and wonderful day. But here's the problem, what to try first. And I think we need to go for the recommendation, and that is the Violet Parfait. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is tucked all the way back there. Get a scoop. Oh. That tastes like purple, but in the most wonderful violet way. So nice and airy, like a cloud of purple. I don't know what I'm saying, but all I know is that it's very good. Oh. What? A great recommendation. And I gotta try this cup of uh, dessert, which 
Not really sure what it is, but nice to find out. Oh. Again, that has got to be the creamiest custard on the face of this earth. Mm. That has got to be the creamiest custard on the face of this earth. And as good as it is, got to try the uh, pistachio parfait. Rich and luscious. Get a little bit of the crumb all the way down. Oh. That is definitely not sweet, but like an explosion of pistachio. Very nutty, very fruity as well. Mm. So, very good here. And this is the Intercontinental Hotel in Madrid. Again, the buffet is only on Sundays, and I really think it is the best in Spain. If not, then uh, definitely the best in Madrid. And really kind folks here, <clears throat> like Rodrigo and all the guests here. So I think I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of coffee. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well and traveling well. And uh, just a fantastic time. Thank you again. Cheers. Very nice and uh, God bless to you and yours.